Now, hey guys, welcome back to the channel and another Swiss 001 video. Yeah, welcome back to Flight Simulator Fun with Swiss 001. Today, we are back in the Flight Simulator indeed. Yes, we've got a very interesting plane right in front of us, and that is the A310 by Airbus. Actually, a plane that we have never checked out before in the Flight Simulator or ever, pretty much. Yeah, beautiful Airbus A310 uh, came out pretty much 40 years ago. And yeah, this was only the second plane of Airbus as well. It's really old, really classic, but it yeah, it, it has aged quite well over the years. It's not particularly flying anymore, but there's still some airlines flying this plane around. Yeah, this plane actually is so old that it still has a yoke, something that you would never ever see on an Airbus normally. Yes, a flight yoke. No side stick that the normal Airbuses have. We have a yoke, which is making this plane very interesting. Huh? All right. Now, let me just go and take out this A310 and then actually talk about what the actual subject of this video is. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, when I talk about planes, I mostly like to talk about, you know, what went wrong with them, you know, their flaws. Even though today's video was not a widespread issue of this plane, but there was quite an interesting emergency not too long ago in 2005. And that was Air Transit Flight 961. Yes, the very interesting Canadian airline of Air Transit. And did I just say Air Transit? I mean Air Transat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, indeed, um, that airline that ran out of fuel on the, above the ocean. <laughs> and had to land on a military base. Ah, good old stories, huh? Wasn't that also on an Airbus? Yeah, that was, I think, an Airbus A330. Welcome back to Swiss Air One. Welcome back to Air Transat. Very interesting failures indeed. Yeah, today, though, we're going to talk about another flight. Air Transat Flight 9061. Uh, well, the flight from Cuba to Canada. i to briefly uh, summarize this after uh, the pilots took off the A310. That was a weird way to say it. They climbed it to 35 thousand feet there we go just like that and then uh, an interesting structural failure happened and uh, the landing gear should come up there we go now <laughs> yeah yes indeed so basically what the air transat pilots did was they spun the wheel of fortune and uh that, that was a structural failure and <laughs> yeah but was it this time around okay so the thing is the rudder detached in flight which is uh, a very interesting thing indeed yes here are some photos of the plane after it landed yes i can already see spoiler this this was an actual successful landing the plane survived all the passengers survived in fact the plane completely entirely in its entirety survived as well and was even still in service for like 10 more i think it was like retired last year right yeah march 2020 i guess <laughs> all right the rudder surface literally fell off which is uh, an interesting thing that to happen indeed i mean we have had issues with the vertical stabilizer which is like the whole section here which um, stabilizes is the plane vertically to briefly uh, put this <laughs> yeah we yeah, know we've had some flights before like the american airlines flight on on that 767 i think it was interesting story indeed uh, which i mean you know losing this entire vertical stabilizer will cause a crash i mean we can uh, it, it simply um rip this off right here vertical stabilizer there we go i don't know if we're gonna be able to see it no we cannot see the vertical stabilizer actually being detached right now but it is actually detached in the flight model meaning that if we try to use the rudder pedals or anything the the rudder does not move and well without vertical stabilization the plane simply can spin out of control it doesn't happen right now for some reason maybe this flight is actually quite stabilized at the moment oh uh, it's also because we're totally at a pretty high altitude but we can already tell there's uh this plane is not really well controllable jesus christ yeah that'll uh, mostly lead to a crash but we've already done a dedicated video to that can we oh no this plane is genuinely out of control now yep it's definitely gonna fall down <laughs> oh no yeah we'll come back to swiss Air one and our transat actually this airline is just known for having like very interesting emergency landings but no crashes really <laughs> oh wow this plane's really crashed now see that's what happens the plane literally you know is uncontrollable anymore loses stability in the air and that was not good. All right then, but let's actually go ahead and recreate the very situation though that happened during the flight. So let's go ahead and take off. Now, yeah, we're not gonna go to Cuba or Canada or anywhere. We're gonna stay in the south of France simply because I don't have Cuba or Canada installed, you know, the satellite scenery. So, you know, it doesn't really matter. It's just really location. All right, <clears throat> let's go ahead and cheat ourselves up into the air. We don't really care about climbing this plane up manually. All right, there we go, 33,000 feet. Now, what actually happened in real life in the actual 
flight, it, of course, it was nighttime, by the way. It was around 3 a.m. And this is what it looks like at night. Uh, which is a little scary, isn't it? What's going on was that the plane was doing a Dutch roll. Kind of sounds like a, like a dish or something. But no, a Dutch roll is, uh, this maneuver. Which basically can only happen if the rudder surface is overstressed. So what kind of happened was that the flight computer, uh, controlled rudder to the left and to the right. Here we go. Left and right movement. There we go. A typical Dutch roll. And that could have actually, you know, detached the rudder surface. And uh, let's just imagine it's now gone. In the actual flight model of this flight simulator, it is genuinely gone now. So we're now flying without a rudder surface. Does it say it here, though? Oh, it does say, it does give us this alert here, yaw damper one and two off, which is uh, to control the rudder, basically. It's a computer to, to control the rudder, basically, to, to briefly summarize it. And that was actually the only error they were getting as well, even though they had obviously just had a plane that kind of spun right there, did a Dutch roll, kind of out of control. Um, so they were definitely worried that, <laughs> I don't know, the vertical stabilizer was missing and uh, the plane was about to obviously crash down. Because obviously from the inside of the plane, you cannot see the rudder surface being ripped off. So what they did was they uh, descended to a lower altitude and, um, well, actually what is the case is that the airplane is still kind of controllable, isn't it? I mean, it, it still works. It's a plane still, uh, but it's very scary to fly this plane right now. I don't know why. Um, obviously, you cannot, though, properly fly a plane with without yaw, without rudder. I think this was a very scary flight. Again, we have to imagine 3 a.m., passengers are all asleep, and then they suddenly get, you know, woken by a plane <laughs> shaking out of control. That's a little weird, huh? Okay, now let's go ahead and actually come in for an emergency landing, emergency descent, everything coming up from 35,000 feet down here at the airport that we have running from us. That I think that's actually Nice Airport in the south of France. A perfect one. Let's do a little bit of an emergency landing. Uh, now, I do want to fly this plane a little carefully now, of course, because we don't want the rest of the vertical stabilizer to fall off, and that because that's going to mean death, really. I've never actually landed the A310, even in its normal state, when it's fully working. So I think this landing is going to be interesting. Huh? Oh my goodness, I'm having trouble controlling this plane right now. Uh-oh. I genuinely... Wait, 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 there's something is really wrong. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, I can see the problem of flying without rudder, I think. Oh, this plane is, like, genuinely not working. Okay. Something is wrong. <laughs> genuinely, something is wrong. Oh, actually, I think we have damaged the flaps as well. All right, so extra emergency landing, basically. We have, I think we have damaged the flaps. And let's not crash into the ocean that's down here. Oh, Jesus Christ. More power, more speed. Ocean is right down there. This is actually an interesting landing. Now, without flaps, without anything, we have a very, very unstable flight. Is it because of weather? Oh, my. My goodness. The plane is barely controllable. Okay, let's go ahead and land. We have to touch down as, t as quickly as possible. We are very fast. Oh, that's a little dumb now. All right, um, what was that landing now? I think I may have touched down a little too early right there. I mean, that's probably not a fatal crash right there. Check this out right here. That was actually all right. That was just a little bit of a harder landing, but no problem. You need to use the whole runway. Uh, this is totally unrealistic, of course. All right, let me simulate this properly. You know, the whole flying thing without rudder controls, or, you know, without any rudder surface at all. Um, let's just imagine it's gone. I've set the flight simulator to the, to the thing that's gone, okay? Well, let's go ahead and get this plane landed uh, without any rudder input, which, I mean, is not the easiest, all right? You definitely have to use rudder to fly a plane properly. No, no other way. Now, it says it here again, yaw damper off. So, uh, yeah. Yes, plane broken. All right. Then, five. Well, that's been actually a pretty good landing. Let's go ahead and stop this plane here as well, which probably shouldn't be that much of an issue. That's actually a pretty nice one. See, uh, flying without a rudder surface isn't the, the worst emergency you could have, but it's definitely scary for sure. And I mean, you know, that situation can quickly, very, very quickly get a lot worse, you know, with the whole vertical stabilizer falling off and basically you falling off as well. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night and a beautiful landing here to end this video. Yo, very nice. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Mubarak, uh, Block, Moritz, Deload, um, Toby Cook, of course, Great Grandpa John, Mark, Leo, uh, Philip, No You, Larry, Finn, M, uh, Thomas, Riley, Preston, Government Pasta, Will, Philip, Iscanvi, Kalamati, Airlines, Opalax, Cherry, and Kelly Chaos. Thank you so much.